hello there cancer welcome in to my channel welcome in to our channel and this is sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here and i do hope you're well all right cancer sun moon rising venus cancer cross watchers welcome in so cancer we're gonna take a look at what you should be doing now the things that you need to be doing now of course for a better life to be the best version of yourself what you should be doing now these are general messages so all of the messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies and the rest let it fly cancerian okay What are you focusing on? What are you feeling? Some of you are thinking about love. About your soulmate. Someone literally is your soulmate. But you're thinking about your soulmate. Nothing other. Hmm. Others of you are thinking about that bag, that money, all right? thinking about money do you feel imbalanced unstable or unstable financially unstable unstable financially but financial instability you feel like giving up like just surrendering you've been trying like listen i have been trying so hard and I'm still not balanced, still don't see the results. I'm still broke and I'm still poor. And oh my God. All right, let me take that back. I've been trying so hard and I don't see my manifestations. When are they going to come? This is how I feel. You feel like you're working hard alone, grinding, trying to find balance. But you're, you feel it's not working out. This was your past energy, right? The Ten of Swords, it was hard. You were dealing with a lot energetically, burdened by being financially unstable. You may have huge responsibilities. You may be working on um, dreams and goals that's going to take money to fill. And that's what makes you feel like you're not able to keep up. So you're like, you feel like giving up. If you're starting a business, you're realizing it's taking more than what you bargained for, you know. Then in your current energy, we see zoops, 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 zoops. What's this? Some blessings, wishes fulfilled. All of a sudden, some opportunities coming in. What are these? Oh my goodness. Let's look. What is the Eight of Wands? Angels, spirits, guides, beloved ancestors. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm, you don't see. All of a sudden, zoop, 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 things start shooting in into your atmosphere, into your environment. You're looking around. It's as if you're seeing uh, things sprouting up for out of nowhere. The rain fell. Things are beginning to flourish. Life, you're seeing life flourish around you. When you thought you were out in this desert, walking, trying to find water, you know, and then you gave up. All of a sudden, help comes. And the eight of wands energy is your ancestors. Believe me, darling. And it comes with the wheel of fortune energy. There are spirits watching out for you. You're supposed to make it on this journey. You felt alone, but when you decided, oh, I'm going to give up, they would not have it. You're being guided all along this journey, all the way through, all right? So you're going to get back up moving. So your spirit comes, it comes through some inspiration, it comes through an opportunity, a friend offering a helping hand, any situation through passion and desire something that this that made you want to get up because you see you here face down but the dawn was breaking some help came in through i feel your spirits guides ancestors something having to do with your emotions some opportunity 
a new calling the wheel of fortune energy what is the wheel of fortune justice i feel like it's tapping into your resources what is the wheel of fortune the king of cups hold it oh hmm. I'm going to out of space and bachelor. Okay, I'm bachelor. Okay. okay, so all of a sudden, something comes in an opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune energy. It is coming in from your angel spirits guides, from people that care about you, a father energy. This is an opportunity that's going to cause you to go on a journey. Follow your heart. It's an offer. Like you got you got an offer to go that's taking you somewhere. Alright, what is the eight of cups? Energy, angel spirits, guides, eight of cups. So just following your heart, Cancerian. Choosing, walking away from indecision. Um, anything that makes you feel frustrated and just deciding to trust in your own. There's only one truth because the seven, you're leaving the seven of cups behind and following your own heart, which is the one true heart, the ace, which would be the one heart that is left. You're going on your own journey here. All right. That's what, that is how you're moving forward. You're moving away from confusion and discontentment. The justice energy saying you deserve this. You're getting an, a help. You're getting some help right now. Whatever you're working on, you're getting a, as if it is a push forward, a push, some momentum going. All right. What is the page of cups energy? Angel spirits guides. <gasps> the ten of pentacles. Amazing. This could be some financial, a new, a, new, a job offer or some money you're making. The Ten of Pentacles is finances. It's money coming into you. It's new beginnings in money, in wealth, in feeling good. Moving from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles is amazing because the Ten of Swords in the past energy concern is when you felt like you were broke. You're like, I'm so broke. You remember that? And now you're in the Ten of Pentacles energy, which you're seeing money coming into you. You're reaping rewards. And it's coming by way of a, a water sign. And this could be your own doing as a water sign. Or this could be a fellow water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, that's bringing in some gift. It could be some advice, some intuition, some information that's going to help you to level up financially here. So you can actually meet your financial needs. All right. In the future energy, we have the Six of Cups. Someone from your past really coming back into your future to align with you. It could be from a past life, a soulmate person. It can be a person that has healed themselves, loved themselves, knows love, knows how to give love, knows how to receive. All right, that's the Six of Cups energy. Beautiful, a fellow water sign once more showing up for you. They may want to come back around. And this can be a friendship. And I feel like this is new. It will appear to you as new as you're meeting someone new, but this person, you've known them for a long time. And I feel like this person knows you more than you know them. All right? And this could be a spirit guide, an angel, in fact. It comes around that you're going to have a physical meeting with. The temperance energy is your, I feel this is your angels, your spirits, your guides. They're creating balance for you. It's telling me that once you are trusting in your heart, going on your own journey and leaving frustration behind and just just praying, I feel, and giving your burdens over to your angels, your spirits, your guides, you know, that's the energy with the temperance message here. Finding balance, knowing when to relent or when to release, when to be vulnerable. You're, you're coming into your abundance. You're coming into some inheritance, some... Some money, victory. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This this money is going to be substantial. It's it's constant. It's well. This wealth is constantly here. It's as if you've been given an inheritance, or you you realize that you are a wealthy person. 
this cannot be taken this wealth that you will come upon cannot be taken away from you it can't be stolen it on it is it just becomes it just becomes realized that you're wealthy and it could be coming some some something coming from a water sign someone giving you it could be payment it could be you getting a stable job something that is stable and dependable we have the king and queen of pentacles in your past and your future energies so i feel like whatever you're visualizing the things that you need to work on you're about to realize that you can do this you're being blessed with a the a lump sum of money i feel that's going to get you through what is the six of cups energy death cancer energy death mm. What is that? What is the death card? The three of swords wanted to come out. What is the three of swords? Okay. What is the full energy? I hear it's a messenger. Oh my gosh, a messenger. It's good news. But it's it's kind of something ended and so there's good news coming by way of that to you you are receiving good news i hear hallelujah because something ended it's coming because of what is the death energy along with the three of swords what is this thing the full energy maybe someone i'm getting fire oh my god i'm getting fire someone maybe someone passed on moved on into the other life but you're and you're getting something maybe that's why i'm saying it is an inheritance that you're receiving cancer anything else what is the sun energy the moon the sun energy is the moon okay I, okay what is the moon energy okay so something you're it's, you're reclaiming that's yours by law or legally it's yours by right birthright energy maybe you 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 weren't aware of this with the moon energy and something is clearing out the truth i hear the truth you're going to know the truth about something returning to you cancer and it's making you happy the sun is material success and abundance and relations success in your relationships as well and this is your future it's a lot gonna come out but it's you're going to be presented with something that's making you abundant and joyful feeling prosperous temperance energy clarification what is temperance energy for cancers the the knight of cups okay so cups energy once more temperance energy does have cups water healing you're going to be receiving this is either you or a fellow water sign that's coming into you and it's like you're you're getting something that you deserve because you're one that you give a lot. You give of yourself and you give of your soul. It's like you give of your own water, your own soul. That's how you give. And someone feels this about you when they see you or when they feel you. And this person has a lot. This person, their energy feels like it's so abundant. It feels similar to yours, like you have so much to give. This person has so much to give that they want to flow into you now. They want some of their water to flow into your, to your, to your pond. They want to fill you up. This person wants you to overflow. I'm, I'm getting the energy of that Christian song that says, "Fill me up till I overflow." You're being blessed. I wanna run over. So something wants you to flow like this. The energy I'm getting is someone sees a pond, and they just have this um, a beautiful amount of water or love. All right. So they see you as someone that is able to receive their their abundant amount of love that they just want to pour into you. They want to feel you full as if you're the moon energy full water sign hmm. and then what is the knight of cups energy any other messages virgo permit energy feels like someone that has been feeling you out for a while 
what is the, the ace of pentacles card ace of pentacles don't get distracted ace of pentacles energy please por favor angels for excuse the ace of pentacles all right so you may be you're receiving this offer but you're maybe some of you are not trusting who it's coming from or when it's coming from how it's coming that's what you're questioning with even the seven of cups energy you need to trust in your heart Trust in your intuition, use your discernment and trust that you've planted seeds that, that need to sprout. You're about to come into some stability here when it comes to your finances, but you're not certain because you've what because of what you've experienced in your past. Don't let that come up and play you anymore. You deserve all that is coming into you. So shine bright. Shine bright. Look, strength energy. You need to shine. Your energy needs to be put out there, force, willpower to claim your destiny, what is truly yours, and be open to receiving, my darling. Be that pond that someone needs to pour love and affection and all the abundance into because you deserve it. You've been giving, you've been nurturing, you've been feeding, you've been healing yourself and others. It's not that you're depleted. It's just that... So it's this energy of someone just being attracted to give you because you are you're a giver it's like they just they see you over there and they want to immediately run into you and pour over it's like they have this so much amount of energy to give they just want to pour it into you they're thankful that they came upon you that they could actually give this love this expression, these feelings, they've been hiding it for a while. This person, this person may have been holding it down for a while, you know, off the market, keeping their love to themselves. But they were looking, they were searching for someone, the right energy to release. And I feel like when they saw you, oh my God. And they came upon you as the pond. I'm getting the energy of a pond with a duck sitting, a duck or a swan sitting on it, sitting on the water, and they immediately want to rush to you. This is you, this swan, in the water energy, four cups. This person rec recognizes you as a soulmate. Uh, it's like this symbiotic relationship. They know you are their counterpart. You, you, you are good for them. They're good for you. What they are offering you is good for you, and it's good for them. And what you have to offer is good for you, and it's good for this person as well. So be open. Do not be afraid. Soulmates. Remember that we do have the King and Queen of Cups out here on the chart on the table. <laughs> you're very scrutin you're scrutinizing a lot of things <laughs> you're just <laughs> you're, you're you're squeezing your eyes together scrutinizing everything can stop <laughs> you're blocking you're like no way i'm going to let anyone come in and ruin all i've worked for but that's the thing you have to know that you um you're powerful and everything is an opportunity for you to grow, to excel. No one has power over you. Standing in your strength as divine, feminine, or masculine, you're going to attract people. Some may not be good for you, but you need to know how to monitor or manage your own emotions here. Leaving your messages here. Thank you, my darlings, for coming through. You have some beautiful things on the way to you especially having to do with your finances and soulmate love connections people coming into you remember your ancestors are here to guide you you're not alone and i feel every time you need help when you feel like you're down the most they come through for you and they clear out energies they create new opportunities and that's just how it is 
with the justice energy i'm feeling you are on a dis destined destined pathway it's important for you to express yourself openly along the way all right cancer i'm leaving your messages here thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you next time remember that all is within you take, take care bye